Hello, welcome to our glute series workout one. This glute series is actually going to take us two weeks because I had too many glute workouts that I wanted to fit in. So we're just going to fit it in. We're just going to spread it out over a couple weeks. So we'll do a few this week and then, um, or I think we'll do two this week and then two, anyways, there'll be two or three, um, one week and the next. But you're going to do a medium to heavy band for this one. And we're going to start by putting it just above your knees, like a half inch above your knees. We are going to start on our back on the floor and we're going to do glute bridges for 30 seconds. So on your back, feet on the floor, we're going to drive through the heel, squeeze the glutes, fighting that band apart to come up and down. Are we ready? Let's do it. Up and down. Feet are shoulder width apart or a little bit wider, and we're squeezing the glutes together as we come up and as we come down. We're going to go through this a few times. It's going to be the same every single round. So I'm not going to trick you. I'm not taking away any rest. I'm not adding anything in. We're keeping it real simple for this first one. In eight seconds, we're going to stay up and we're going to pulse at the top in five, three, two, one. Stay up, little pulses. So drop and squeeze. Don't let the butt touch the floor. In five seconds, we're going to hold it up. Three, two, one. Hold it up. All you have to do is stay here. Eight more seconds. Then we're going to stay up, but we're going to do knees out. You can rock to the outsides of your feet in three, two, one one outside of your feet or just widen those knees whatever's comfy and then bring it back oh that burn five seconds three two one and rest we're going to roll over onto our side totally relaxed just chilling here legs are going to come to 90 degrees so thighs are straight across shins are straight down knees stacked over the ankle knee stacked with the hip three two one, open up that knee and that foot. We're doing some big clams and we're leaning forward. So this top hand, I had that on the floor and I'm leaning into it. I don't want that leg to pull me back. We're gonna be here for another 15 seconds and you're just gonna find your pace and your range of motion for what you can do today and what band you have. Obviously, if you have like a heavy band, super heavy band, it's gonna be harder. You might be shorter range of motion. Three, two, one, extend this top leg right down in front of you and lift it up and down. Just high enough that you start to kind of fight that band and then come back down. We don't want to move the body too much, just that leg is going up and down. And I'm still leaning that weight forward. I'm feeling that top glute like crazy. We've got 15 more seconds. Now just 12, getting closer and closer. In 10. In 7. In 5. 3, 2, one and rest we're going to switch over same thing on the other side so starting with those big clams laying on your side legs up at 90 degrees knee straight out in front of the hips and then the ankle lined up in three two one you're going to open it up and bring it back so the knee and the ankle are traveling together Ooh, even that bottom glute is still burning it's still on fire 15 seconds down, 15 to go. You can find that mind muscle connection, really squeeze and flex those glutes as you open it up. In seven seconds, we're gonna extend that top leg for our leg lifts. In three, two, one, extend that leg lift or that leg and lift up and down. So the leg is nice and straight, the toe is just relaxed or I'm kind of pointing my toe a little bit, whatever's comfy for you. And we're just coming up high enough that we start to fight that band, feel that glute, and then we control that drop back down so we don't let that leg go. In 10 seconds, you get to rest. We are getting very close to being done with round one. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna come to our hands and knees, and we're gonna do some fire hydrants. So Set yourself up on all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and we're just gonna stay on one side, opening up in three, two, one. So open it and then bring it down. Just fighting that band again, and just be really mindful of your low back here. Sometimes when we're doing things in an all four position like this, the back kind of likes to arch to help you get that leg up. And we really wanna keep a neutral spine. You can help doing that by holding onto your abs to support the low back, making sure the head stays in line with the spine. Even though I know it's so tempting to wanna to peek up and watch me the whole time, I'm not that cool, I promise. Three, 
two, one, let's switch sides, right into the other side, open and close, same thing. And if you are still, like if you're doing all those things and you're still feeling tension in the back, you can try coming down onto your forearms instead of your hands. It makes it a little bit harder to get that same range of motion, but it's easier on the back. 10 seconds, then round one is done. In seven, in five, three, two, one, and rest onto your back and into round two. So we're back to your blue bridges in 10 seconds. You can roll onto your back. It's just, uh, I like to do it at the last second because it puts a lot of weight on maybe three, two, one. There's actually, um, it puts weight on the vena cava, which can cut off oxygen supply to the baby when you lay flat. Um, it's really not a concern for short duration movements like this. You just really don't want to sleep on your back like the whole night when you're pregnant or something like that. But it can be uncomfortable for some people even for short periods of time. So I just try to minimize the time that I spend on my back. Seven more seconds, then we're going to pulse it in five. Three, two, one, come on up and then drop and squeeze, drop and squeeze. As soon as that butt falls, squeeze and pull it back up. Five seconds, then we hold. Three, two, one, hold it up. Stay there for 10 seconds, just holding, nothing fancy in five seconds. Knees out. Three, two, one, knees out. Knees out. There we go. Seven seconds, then we get to rest. We're getting there in five. Three, two, one, and rest. We're going into our clams. So find your side, find that 90 degree angle. Make sure those knees are up high enough and that the ankles are lined up with those knees. In three, two, one, open them up. Whew, doesn't take long to start feeling these burns. Oh my goodness. Even with body weight, these moves are very challenging. The band just makes it that much harder. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna extend that top leg and we'll go into our leg lifts in seven, in five, three, two, one. Extend that top leg straight out in front so it comes right out of that knee and then we just control that lift and that drop, leg up and down, keeping that body weight forward into that top hand. Fire, fire, fire happening right there. I'm sure you can feel it too. If not, up that band, get a heavier band, increase that range of motion or up that speed, five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. We've got to switch over to the other side for the same thing. So set yourself up laying comfy on the floor, legs at 90 degree angle, and three. Two, one, open it up. And I sort of flex my foot here. It just helps me get a big flex in my glute as I open, because I'm trying to be really intentional with that movement and actually squeeze my glutes to initiate that open, not just lifting, not even just fighting that band, but really finding that mind-muscle connection and getting, in as, getting as much out of that move as I can. In five seconds, top leg lifts. Three, two, one, extend that leg, top leg lifts up and down. We're here for 30 seconds. You already did it once. I know you can do it again. And the good news is you're already halfway there. 15 down, 15 to go. In 12 seconds, you get to rest, come to all fours. We're almost done with round two. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and rest, hands and knees. We've got our fire hydrants next. So we'll find that position, setting the hands up underneath the shoulders in five, whatever leg you wanna start with, in three, two, one, and go for it. Open up and down. So the knee and the ankle are traveling together. Again, controlling the lift, controlling the drop, fighting that band. This band has been on its last leg for like many legs. It's got little tears in it. I'm just waiting for the day. It slices all the way open, but it's staying strong. Five seconds, then the other side in three, two, one, switch sides. 
This was an old favorite. I'm sure if any of you have taken my class in, in person, especially those of you who are in small group training, you have used this band a million times. And I have too. They're really good quality because I think I got a pack of five on Amazon for like 20 bucks and I've had them for like three, four years. Seven seconds in five. Three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna go the other way this time. And we have our last round. So 10 seconds and then we're back to those blue bridges in five. In three, two, one, up and down. Drive through your heels. So it might even be helpful to take the toes totally off that floor. You can play around, find where you feel that the most burn, and you can also play around with the placement of your feet. So you can walk them closer to your hands, you can walk them further away. Sometimes when the feet are closer to the hands, you'll feel the glutes more, but if you have knee problems, that might not be comfy for you. Sometimes when they're further away, you can kind of feel more hamstrings. You can play around with that. And we're gonna pulse in three, two, one. Come up and pulse. Drop and squeeze, drop and squeeze. Seven seconds, then we hold. This is our last time through. In three, two, one. We're gonna hold for 10. In eight seconds, we go right into our knees out. In five, three, two, one. Knees out, out and back to neutral. Keeping that height, just feeling those outer glutes burn even more. Three, two, one, and rest onto your side for your big clams. So I'm gonna lay nice and comfy. I'm gonna take those knees up a little bit higher. In three, two, one, open up that top leg and bring it back down. You have been through almost uh, you've been through 11 and a half minutes of the circuit. You have a little over three minutes to go. So we are almost there. Almost through glute series, workout one of five. <laughs> a lot of glute workouts coming your way soon. Five seconds, then your top leg lifts in three, two, one, extend, and up and down. But four of them are like the regular thing you're used to, like between 15 and 20 minute circuits. And then one is just a quick five minute challenge. But they'll be spread out over two weeks. So you'll have lots of time to fit them in. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. And 10. And it's always good to work the glutes. Everyone likes to have a nice bum. And that's one of the biggest muscles. So you wanna have that strength. And let's switch, same thing on the other side. Helps with your stability, helps with low back pain, pelvic floor have a functional pelvic floor and want to have strong muscles all around it. Let's do big clams, open and close. I know it's so hard to see me behind that door, but the good news is I am moving very soon. Um, in less than three weeks, I am moving. And so I will be in a new location and it will be way brighter and way easier to see me. 10 seconds. Seven seconds. Top leg lifts coming in three, two, one. Extend that leg up and down. Yeah, we were not about to uh, bring a baby home to this one plus 10 condo <laughs> in a very party building and neighborhood. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. In 10 seconds, we are gonna rest. And we're gonna to come to all fours. And the good news is you're in the home stretch. You only have a little over a minute to go. Three, two, one, and rest onto all fours, hands and knees. And we're gonna go into your fire hydrants in five, three, two, one, fire hydrants. Stay on one side for the whole 30 seconds. And these are your last moves. So we just have to get through the fire hydrants on one side, then the other side. And then we're done. We did it. And hopefully you have a nice burn to show for it. 10 more seconds. And again, you can do anything you want to do with these series. You could combine them into a full glute workout. You could just add it on to something else or do it when you don't have a lot of time. Switch sides. If you only have time for a quick 15 or 20 minute workout, these are awesome. 
But if you want to really build those glutes, it's good to maybe add them on to the end of a few workouts each week or to put them together. Do a few of them back to back. Have that be your workout and maybe do that two or three times a week if you really want to build those glutes. Seven seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. You did it. Another one in the books. Thank you so much for sweating with me. I will see you in the next one.